While the digital broadcasting switchover across the Caribbean is expected to provide an opportunity for regional producers to create more local content within their respective territories. This Secretary General of the Caribbean Broadcast Union, Patrick Cozier, says would be possible with the expansion of the broadcast industry to accommodate more local channels. Should help create an incentive for producers um, and creative talents to be able to have exposure to the extent that they may not have had before. So I'm hoping that this is going to be a beneficial aspect of digitization and that the public policy makers will in fact engage with the process in such a way as to make possible the opportunities for more creativity locally because you have the out. Cozier further explains how content can be effectively managed. One model you may use is where you have a channel available so you make space available. Uh, and you can make space available to a series of different um, independent producers. For instance, I may say to you, uh, I'm going to give you the 9 to 10 o'clock slot. Right. Somebody else gets the 10, 11. So what you do is aggregate the content, the output of a lot of independent producers to be able to put onto one channel. Clearly one independent producer doesn't have the capability or the capacity to produce 24 hours of material a day. So what you do is aggregate it, create a platform mm -hmm. for local exposure and then aggregate. Regarding quality control, the CBU Secretary General notes that a regional standard to be used collectively by members has been discussed to allow a smooth flow within digital broadcasting. 